masih belum sudah Penghujung destinasi masih belum tiba Jangan berhenti di sini Masih banyak belum ditempuhi Tim dan barat, selatan utara Satu persatu kita tempuhi bersama Teruslah berjuang bersama kita tak Our direction at the football club has uh, not changed from the day we took over PFC. Uh, we have three major phases. Uh, number one is to stabilize the club and to make sure all payments are made and that we are all the FIFA and FAM bans are lifted uh, and that we get to play our uh, registered players uh, and to ensure that we go up to the Super League for next season. Now once that happens then uh, phase two kicks in. Uh, phase two is where we will stabilize the club at Super League. Uh, we're not looking to uh, winning the uh, championship or anything. Uh, but to be hopefully mid-table uh, but more importantly is to also focus on uh, youth development and uh, to uh, reinvigorate uh, the new team to be much more competitive. That has always been the, the plan right from the beginning. I think uh, both Era FC at management level and also uh, YCL uh, we were fully aware that uh, when we get into phase two, we would need a new uh, team manager or team coach or head coach. Um, it is not uh, anything uh, to underscore or undermine uh, YCL. Uh, it is merely that uh, there is going to be, if, if we are in the Super League, which inshallah we will be, uh, there will be a new format of play. Uh, there will be about, what, 34 games. Uh, so based on that schedule, we needed someone uh, with much more experience to be able to manage the team uh, and to, to train the team to, to bring them up to a, to a higher level. Um, it has always been our understanding with YCL that, uh, you know, that uh, although he will still probably be around in the, in the, in the whole uh, scheme of things, but uh, he will not be uh, the head coach. Well, he'll be the head coach uh, and that he'll be in charge of the main squad um, and uh, Yusri Chetla uh, will be uh, retained in a youth development uh, role with uh, Ahmad Sharul uh, Azhar as uh, technical director and also chief scout. So that's the new sort of uh, organisation chart uh, of, the, of the technical team. Well, as I mentioned earlier, we are looking uh, mid-table, but then if Chao uh, uh, Kim says that he can uh, win the championship, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Are we from yeah. Malaysia? Two years, maybe eight months, <laughs> to be exact. Yeah. Do you miss the Malaysian weather and food? Oh yes, of course, of course. Uh, well, of course the food. Yeah. It's always very tempting, especially durian, you know. <laughs> uh, well, I've been following uh, Malaysian uh, Super <coughs> all this while, and I know I've been uh, following also uh, Para FC playing. Yeah, so I know what is happening. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, do you see it as a big task taking a team from right to bottom of the league going up? I, I, I wouldn't see it as a task, I see it as a challenge for me. And uh, well, if you know my personal football history, I always love challenges. And I take challenges as part of my uh, life. Well, in the beginning, I had to see what kind of players I have. Then only when we work together for a couple of weeks, then we can see what material we have. But since the management has, has already uh, designed a, a, a goal for us to achieve, of course, 
will do our very best to achieve the success. Yeah. Well, I have worked with young players before in Malaysia, and I have seen that these boys are talented, but talent is not everything. You need, you need to have work ethics. You need, to have, you need to have discipline. You need to have uh, moral. Yeah. So all these are more important than just talent. Talent will not bring you anywhere at all if you don't have the other ingredients. So I saw that we have a lot of young, talented players. So to build this team, if the management give me time, because I know that we have talent, yeah, but I need time. These are raw diamonds, and diamonds need to be to be to be uh, how you say polished. And, and if you polish this diamond, it takes long time to be in the shelf. Yeah, so it takes time. Raw diamond, you need time to polish, and you to polish these diamonds, these raw diamonds, you need expertise. I think if I may just touch on that, I think Pera FC, uh, our position and direction for Tiong Kim is to uh, look internally and locally uh, instead of uh, abroad to amplify and augment our our squad. So there's there's uh, focus on that as well, you know, on the youth development. Yes, of and course. Because we do have the talent here, but as as he rightly pointed out, I mean, you have to uh, polish the. Discipline and the work ethics. This will start from youth, from younger than twelve. Yeah, of course, because you do. You need to mold them. You know, you need to nurture them. Nurture. For some reason, Pelagni, we produce quite good. I mean, very good footballers yeah. throughout yeah. the history. Exactly. It's always from Pelag. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. so. We need to, to take advantage of yeah. that. We need to exploit that. During the 60s, 70s, mm. 80s, Pera was very yeah. strong. Very strong. And it's local players. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. So it's, it's not that we don't have the players. We have the players. It's just that you need to bring them to a place and train regularly. They need regular training and good training. Regular training, but good training. To the Pera fans, I would say we need you. We make sure when we play, we play our best, we will give our best, we will run until our hearts drop. <laughs> Please come and help us. Yeah. We need your support. Yeah. And inshallah, yeah. Yeah, we will be successful. Uh, the contract is a, for a two-year period with an option to renew for one more year. Uh, I think it's uh, not appropriate for us to be discussing um, uh, salaries and, and uh, remuneration packages. Uh, suffice to say that uh, uh, we are in agreement with a lot of things uh, in terms of the package uh, which uh, we have discussed and negotiated over the past uh, week. <laughs>